Word. There we go. Thank you, kind Zoom lady. <laughs> All right. Um, so, hey, Cam Found. Pretty Boy Dave T here with uh, some of the other members of Wahuru. Not everybody. Um, we will be having everyone join us. Uh, our boy Anthony was feeling a little under the weather, so hopefully he'll be joining us soon. Davey um, will be joining us, but right now, um, you know, he's actually taking a shower because he actually did some work out in the yard today, which I'm very happy about. Um, but he was cutting around some poison sumac, so we got to get that off his of skin. Um, so he'll be joining us uh, once that is done. Um, but uh, enough about that. You guys are here to learn about Everlore and watch our stream Evermore with Everlore. Um, we're excited to have you guys with us. Um, just to let you know, if you want to learn more information about our game, you can check us out on social medias at Everlore Gang. You can also check out our website at manchildltd.com. Um, just in case you guys happen to be watching this video from our site or from YouTube, um, you can check out our live stream on Thursdays from 6.50 to 9, um, and that is at twitch.tv forward slash Everlore Gang. We also have another um, official stream of Everlore. Uh, the guys there are not quite as sophisticated as we are, but you should give them a look anyway. Um, no, nah, but in all seriousness, they're, they're a crazy bunch of guys and gals, so we're happy to have that. Um, and you guys can check that out. It's called Essence of Everlore, and it is on Mondays um, from 6.45 to 9. And that can be found at twitch.tv forward slash Essence of Everlore. With that being said, um, we just about to get into it. All right. Uh, we got, let's see. Um, yes. We got four people here. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to get the other two on shortly. Um, but I see one hand up. You know who yeah. I'm going to ask. Who, who would like to try for some EP to give us of a recap? Course. Yes. We got one person. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, dang, Cam Fam. Oh, this is gonna be a rough like one, baby. East, right uh, there. All right. Um, well, uh, I mean, guys, the dice. Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, Caleb. Are you, Caleb, you frozen? He must be frozen. Hey, Caleb. No, oh, he's gone. Yeah. Hold on, Cam Fam. I gotta, I gotta see what's going on. I'm gonna mute myself. Okay. Caleb? You didn't mute yourself. You didn't mute. Hey, man, I hit the mute button. <laughs> Good again. So, in the meantime, Cam Fam, shameless plug on our site, manchildltd.com, has some awesome gear for you to purchase. We've got t shirts, hoodies, things like that. If you want to go ahead and get yourself ready for the fall season, go ahead and check us out, manchildltd.com forward slash store. That was great. That was awesome, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Are you ready for tonight anyway? I am, man. I was trying to look at my notes, Brad. I was like, Lord, I don't know this time, man. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Caleb should be jumping back in here. He's uh, back. Here we go. There we go. I'm going to send a quick text out to Anthony. Um, yeah. Just so he can jump on. And then we will just go ahead and get started. So, so is there a bonus EP for being the only one? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm about to hold on. Hold on. Only one for what? Review. For trying to do the recap. Well, I'm trying to do the recap. Ah, oh, you all late. You like five minutes late. Cap. Did yeah, it. for real. You Probably all like are. Probably I was. Well, that was. I guess that was because he was frozen. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So. That's what we'll do. We got two people. Okay. That that means twice the EP per person. You know, I might even I might even give you that. All right. 
<laughs> well, so it's going to be twice DP. Yeah, we got one, two for Uriah, three, four for Caleb. Okay. It's a three. Mm. Okay. So, last time on Everlord, um, so. <laughs> The last time uh, <laughs> we started. Uh, Hold on, Caleb, you're breaking up. You might have to come down here. Yeah, because you walking reminder. Um, oh, Caleb, Caleb, you you was frozen. You have <laughs> okay, Wahoo reminder. Um, so Vondra and the Carve one. Uh, they were. Um, on a boat with a, uh, a, uh, a spirit traveling. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. You got froze up again. Yeah, I'm gonna join on my phone. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay. okay. Sorry, Jam Fell. Yeah, Vondra, go. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, say less. <clears throat> Last time on Everlore. Uh, as uh, Bloodstar was saying, actually, I'm not even going to steal that from him. I'll go ahead and try to avoid whatever he was trying to say so that he can get some EP too. Um, <clears throat> so Wahoo Major, uh, which consists of Bloodstar, Matatopa, Stitch, and uh, Reaper, they were uh, out here in these... Uh, fantasy proverbial streets <laughs> spreading spreading the wahuru name um they were they were needing some help uh but unfortunately our buddy uh Kyphus couldn't give them help he had to choose between wahuru major and wahuru minor which i believe uh bloodstar was uh going to touch on when he was when he started talking about wahuru minor um but uh, Wahuru Major found themselves in a bit of a conundrum. They were fighting, uh, and they uh, they uh, they were doing okay, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what was going on with Wahuru Major. I'm not even going to lie. I was only paying attention to Wahuru Minor, which was the dope part because, look, we got hit by Yug Hun, <laughs> by uh, Yug D Dab, Yug Dab, Yug Dab. Uh, and so we cracked the code on the name, uh, working together, Anthony and I. We cracked the code on the name and what it stood for. Um, but he, he kind of gave us a run for our blood. Uh, definitely our fault. He was trying to leave, but uh, he, he, yeah, uh, yeah. he definitely wanted our blood. Uh, so much so that our stats actually went down to zero. So we passed out, um, and Kyphus uh, ended up having to help us. Uh, but he, we woke up and he was just chilling there and he was looking at, um, Yugdab and he was like, dude, I told you not to do it. And they were like, no, nah, man, trust me, the story, let, let me get it straight. And so then he asks us what happens and Vondra being the honorable, honest person he is, tells the truth. So Kyphus ends up letting him go. Uh, and then Kyphus was like, dude, you guys essentially have to get it together bro like i don't know what y'all are doing i want to help you i'm prohibited from helping you to a certain degree but you guys are stressing me out because y'all ain't getting it and so we finally made some progress and it clicked hey maybe maybe we should figure out our own way across the abyss and uh and that's where we left off with wahuru minor wahuru major uh, they were doing some things because, uh, you know, what? I'll leave that for uh, Bloodstar. All right, all right. Uh, you, you seem to not have frozen in a bit, so you want to pick yeah, it up? Yeah, yep, I'm back. Uh, so Wahuru Major, you know, we were doing our things, big chilling, walking <laughs> through the woods. Um, and I don't remember most of it. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we ended up coming upon, well, 
Who was it? Stitch. Stitch did something, I think, for the first time ever and was useful. Um, <laughs> and when talking to his goddess, uh, got a vision of um, some, some a, uh, a tower that had like fallen uh, and was destroyed. Um, and so he then told all of us and started to run. And there's a whole thing between him and Baylock is whatever. And then <laughs> the whole, um, yeah, so we were doing our thing and so Oh my gosh, you guys are butchering this. Baylock, Baylock. As they're all talking, Baylock runs ahead, like, like way ahead, way faster than everybody else. They're slow. Um and he he makes it to the, the, the place and he creates clones, which he then turns into two clones, and then he turns into spiders. And he makes them crawl into like the, the chains and expand to try and break them. He breaks one, but not the other one. And then he grabs the two like girls and starts to run and gets attacked. One of the girls gets hit. That's where we left off. All right, all right. It looks like we made it just in time. They left, they left Monotopa, though. You missed that part. Yeah. Amani right. Na Solomon. Hey, sorry, guys. Hey, about there's the Anthony. There were some uh, kind officers of the law outside I had to speak to for a second. Um, uh, yeah, yep. my bad. They no came problem. out like the worst no time, but I'm here. I, 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 I can't compete with that. You know what I'm saying? So it's all good. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Um, and uh, just on the recap, you guys missed, like, Something special that Stitch did, and Stitch didn't even remember it. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I remember. What was it, Stitch? Oh. I slapped Bloodstar. No, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'd say, I'd yeah, say that, that is pretty okay. important. But that, but that I got my pick Get over yourself. All right. Um, Stitch, when, uh, for anybody who can tell me what I'm thinking about. He got a message from somebody to go somewhere and do something important. There, there. Uh, Wait, you said Stitch did something cool? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say Stitch uh, did something relative to his goddess Danu. Um, I would say Stitch. that Stitch, as he was praying, um, asking for uh, wisdom and direction on how to take down Zebulon, he got like a vision. Um, um what happened before that? Are um, you talking about starting the uh, the cult of Stitch, so to speak? Boom. You know, gaining some followers for Danny. EP, yep. there we go. Yep. All right. <laughs> that was last session, though, man. Yeah, that uh, was the session before that. that yeah, two oh, sessions that was, before. Okay, yeah, that was two But I'm going to take EP. You get right, EP, for that. I'm going to take EP, boy. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Um, so, Uriah, uh, two for you. Uh, no, actually, Uriah, four for you, because you went first first. Um, Caleb, two for you. Anthony, one for you. All right. Um, and so where we left off, um, you guys were just hanging out. Um, Kyphus had to bounce. So mm -hmm. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Nikar. Uh, right, Lundra. Where is the abyss? Um, the abyss, it's uh, I assume that Kyphus had like we're on the shore of where the abyss out of game. I mean, I'm asking the lore master, like, are we on the shore, like, where the yeah. land meets the abyss? Okay, yeah. well, uh, I'll go ahead and roll insight through the abyss. Then I have to grab my dice from under the desk. Oh, yeah, so cool. I mean, you're, you're right in front of it, so you don't yeah. have to roll. Uh, oh, oh, okay, cool. Contra, uh, I'd, um, I, uh, you know, seeing that we're on the shore of the abyss, I'd, uh, I'd point at it right there where it is. Uh, yeah, well, okay. All right. Your eyes is what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with, with that, Vondra's going to say, <clears throat> I guess we should try that gliding technique I was talking about. I um I definitely think that we could do something a bit more secure. I was thinking perhaps we could build a boat out of the spirit wood and uh, see if that could take us across. 
Well, all right then. I guess we could try, but I'm not much of a builder. I oh. break things. Oh yeah, trust me. I know your ability to break things is uh, rather outstanding. I am. Um, after that boat ride, I feel a little sapped, but I feel like I could try and go about building us something to get us across this chasm. Yeah, because remember, you guys are still down. Nope, that's that's what I was referring yeah. to. All right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what do you guys want to try? So, uh, uh, I'm going to do a survival have... role to uh, get materials. Oh, me, Carvin was going to try and... Uh, she was going to try and use her craft to, well, I guess, yeah, survival to get materials, then to craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that'll so I'm gonna, be... I'm going to go look for materials. materials. I'll go searching alongside you then, if that's the case. Uh, that is... 36. I also got a 36. All right, so... You mean looking for materials? You just—I well, mean, what are you trying to find? I would be trying to find wood. I would be trying to find good stones to make like an axe, so that way I could try to, you know, chop down some trees. Just I'm—I just... I don't know if we came with our gear, but uh, you have your gear. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna see if Nikarvin has some fishing line or something like that, and if I have some in my bag as well. And then I'm also going to look for like sturdy vines or things that like seem to be able to bind uh, okay. whatever wood and stuff that we get, uh, things of that nature. Okay. All right. Um, and, and me, Carvin, in addition to something like that, you're looking for like rocks or something? Yeah, something so yeah, that way I can make an axe so I don't have to use my dwarven cleaver to lop a couple trees down. Okay. All right. Um, with those rolls, um, the carbon, you will find um, the roll here. You will find one um, rock mm -hmm. um, that seems fairly smooth on one end mm -hmm. um, and sort of tapered down. Nice. Um, Is it a good you, size for somebody who's seven foot six or seven five? I mean, it's a rock, you know, it's, you know, it's not, I got you. <laughs> it's not a boulder. I got um, you, but like, is it's good enough to make an ax out of probably. Well, I mean, it depends on how well your craft roll is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's um, you also do find um, some loose branches. Mm -hmm. um, and then Bandra, on the other hand, you are successful at finding some of the vines, um, more so because you just watched the monkeys and you know you saw that they were swinging from different trees and stuff like that. So yes. um, about 100 or 200 feet away from you, um, you know, you, you can see some. Uh, you might have to contend with the monkeys because they're swinging. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to roll naturism to convey uh, that I don't mean any harm to these monkeys. OK, do you have any animal proficiencies, like animal reader, animal friend, any of that stuff? I have herb life. <laughs> Not quite the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't have anything with the animals. Oh, All man. right. Oh, and by the way, Mika was uh, was blasting Stitch. You know, like Stitch for the recap. Come on, Stitch. Oh, I know. Stitch. Stitch. <laughs> you know, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't treat these uh, monkeys like animals. I'm gonna treat them like spirits instead. I'm gonna do a spirit commune, uh, communal attempt to <laughs> convince these uh, monkeys that uh, I'm not trying to take from them. Okay. I just, I'm just trying to build to lead, you know, try to try not to take from the environment, but to leave the environment. There we go. Okay. All right. So go ahead and, and um, roll that 
What do you use for that? Your, um, your magical aptitude? Uh, for spirits, it's alchemy. But normally, it's magical attunement for other stuff. But spirits... Okay, well, but alchemy. Yeah. Um, ooh. Oh, no, that was... Okay. Um... Oh, but I'm at a negative. Yeah. I mean, I'm at one, but I'm at a negative. So you okay. would roll and then. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm actually at twenty-seven. Okay. Um, the you will notice that the um, the adults seem to sort of ignore you. Um, you know, as they're going about. Um, gathering food and things like that. Um, they do okay. keep their, their their young ones sort of away from you, but the okay. sort of teen, you know, um, they're they're intrigued, um, so they start just dropping vines. Oh, cool! And they're just you know, boop, here's a vine, here's a vine, boop boop boop. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna accept their gracious offer, and. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, they don't, I'll, I'll accept their gifts. Okay. Um, all said, uh, they, they get a little zealous, uh, overzealous, and, you know, they drop about 20 or 30 pounds of vines. Ooh, okay. It's a lot of vineage. I'm fine with that. I, I, I'll take some. I'll take, I'll take, I'll try and take it all, honestly. It was not at once, but I'll make trips. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's no rush. You can, you can definitely do that. Yeah. So I'll t I'll take some trips back and just take the vines, all of them. Just hey, I'm oh, I want to roll a uh, insight with my herb life and identification on these vines because uh, I might want to keep one just for a recipe or something. I don't know if it's got some sap in it or some sort of water. Or some, you know, whatever property. Okay. Solid. So go ahead and roll. That would be. Oh, but I get a bonus. Uh, so that's only minus. Okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um, I mean, you will notice that they're supple. Um, you know, very flexible, but you don't really know. I mean, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep one vine out of the out of the thirty. I, no, no, no. I'm gonna keep two, uh, just like where where I keep my ropes. So I have one rope that's in lasso form, and then one rope that's out. I'm gonna take two vines, and I'm gonna put those there. Okay. Um, how long are you trying to keep? Like, how what's the length? Uh, see what can fit in my bag. What can I coil? How much can I feasibly coil to fit in I mean, the bag? They're they're fairly. Um, I mean, they're about the size of a, of a thick rope. Okay. You know, so then um, maybe. Plus, uh, I would say whatever you can't carry, we can leave with the boat. I'm. I'm. I think total sixty feet of vine, split between the two of them. Um. That would. Odd or even? Odd. Okay, you got it. Okay. Woo! So what are you guys doing with the with the vine, with the pieces of wood, of branches, not like big wood? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And the, I got you. the rock. All right. So um, I this... think we'd find a base for our raft boat thing. Oh, well, first what I was going to do is try to, like, make an axe so we could fell a tree and then start to produce some kind of, like, you know, wood for our raft. I see. Okay. That's why I was wondering if you thought these branches were sturdy enough or if perhaps we should try and find, you know, good solid log or something I could use to fell a tree or two. So here's what I'm thinking. I think that these branches... I think two of them we should make into paddles 
And then I also think that the rest of them, we can bind together in a uh, like cross hatch formation. Right. And sort of raft ourselves out. Do you think that don't really need to make a full on boat? I mean, we do want something that'll carry us though. Between you and me both, we're pretty heavy people. I, speak for yourself, dude. I'm six foot, dude. I'm I'm a regular sized humanoid, man. You. Uh, well, then, considering that you're gonna say the lady weighs a lot, it's the armor. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I've got a knife, so I can try and fashion us some paddles. I would rather it be out of real wood than you know some dinky uh, branches. Well, okay. Whatever. So, uh, just I guess you, know, you, you have eleven branches. We have eleven. Oh, you branches. have eleven branches. In that case, I, and they're just branch size, right? They're not like yeah. thick. Yeah, they're just. I mean, okay. things that would fall off of a tree normally. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Here's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? If you need to make something. Uh. I say we use some of these branches to start a fire, mm -hmm. a foraging fire, where you can make your axe, okay? When your axe cools, we take it to the trees. And once we take it to the trees, we make our raft, bind it, and get out of here. Well, that's what I'm asking, though. Should we get, like, a really good branch to make the axe, or would we be fine just taking, like, two or three of the branches, tying them together and then attaching the axe between the end. Because I don't really need a fire to make the axe. It's just tying and stickage. What kind of, uh, like, forge craft proficiencies do you guys have? Um, okay, have... so for me, Carvwin, I have forge craft and I have craft. I also have expanse sharding, which that would help me find the stuff, I guess. Do you, um, and so... How much investment do you have in craft? I have six investment. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I also have a knife that I can use to like shave off and like carve off part of the wood if that's the thing you'll let me do. Okay. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got like general nice. knowledge. <laughs> swell, swell. I have a lot of stuff for survival, but I don't have things for crafting because I, I don't craft. Right. Only carbon gun. That's all right. I've got you. So, the carbon is going to try and use uh, like three of the branches we have, tie them together, and produce some kind of axe. Okay. With the stone. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do a craft roll for that. Got it. Um, that's an eight. Okay, so that would be minus eight. So that would be 15 plus the eight. Okay, 23. Okay, you feel like you've done a, a fairly good job. I mean, if you had to hazard a guess, which you are, mm -hmm. um, you think you might be able to, to cut down a, a reasonably sized tree with that. Mm -hmm. but all, all I need is really one tree, so that works. It's, it's a stone? It's, it's a, a stone? It's got, like, the branches that we have, three of those. And yeah. Then I, I just, do I? I? I was just talking about the axe part. The axe oh, head. Oh, yeah, the axe part. It was, like, the stone. It's not a boulder, but, like, it's a rock right. with, like, a tapered end. Is it sharpened? Oh, go ahead. I have a question for... Uh, Yes, the LM. Uh, so, like, can you enchant an item, like, just in anywhere? Or does it take, like, something special? I mean, if you're if you're casting this, but there are some spells that will enchant an item um, briefly. But if you're talking about putting protect, perpetual enchantment on it, no, that has to be something that is intentional. Um, you have to do that with forge craft and things like that. Well, yeah, yeah, but... so, so a spell that does a buff to an item makes the item enchanted. Correct. For the, the length of that spell, yes. Okay. That's Noted. Okay, so normal items right. can become effective against 
enemies that are only mm -hmm. affected by enchanted items yeah. through the use of temporary spells. Hey, Dave. Because you're you're putting magic on them, so that's yeah. transforming them. Mm -hmm. Wait, so if I cast like older strength on myself, could I like punch something that isn't affected by normal things? Yeah, if your body is a weapon, if your body's considered a weapon. Yeah. I mean, my body's a weapon. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's Baylock we're talking about. Anyway, Lord Master, are you cool if Nikarvin looks for like a rock on the ground so she can like try and taper the end a little more, make it just a bit sharper just by striking it? Sorry, the action. Another rock? Yeah, just like a smaller rock, something that I can use to kind of like bash it a little bit, so that way the end is like sharper. It'll split the wood buddy. I wonder well, if the I mean, round's gonna be mad though. Yeah, you, you feel, I mean, you feel like you can use what you have. Okay, all right. If if I'm if I'm happy with the rock I've got, then I'm gonna I'm gonna first I'm gonna ask Vondra like, hi, uh, Vondra, you know a lot more about the spirit realm than me. I'm not very well attuned with this uh, place. Do you um? You have any idea if the spirits might prefer their trees uh, left intact? Um. <clears throat> well, I would imagine that they would like uh, to not be disturbed. Well, um, if they don't want to be disturbed, then just ask them if there's a tree nobody's uh, living in and we'll use it to make a boat. I see. Uh, <clears throat> in my experience, um, Normally, there's some sort of trade, something of value to the spirits that will, uh, I guess, uh, appease them and maybe take the place of uh, their anger. Yeah, blood uh, seems to be doing the trick for that. Home. Yes, blood does seem to take care of that, but as we have found out we can't just go giving our blood to everybody we're not donators i mean what's the chance that we come into another uh recovering spirit <laughs> uh we're in the spirit realm uh, <laughs> i i uh <laughs> i think there's a pretty good chance um we can just well, ask why not yep all right go for it see if anybody's uh and then i'll roll insight to see if i can find a tree that looks like it'll have good wood to make a boat and I mean, you're, you're, you're in a forest. So okay, all right. Then, then I'll find, do, can I find a tree that looks like there aren't critters living in it? Like how the monkeys were in the trees from earlier? I want to find a tree that looks like not lived in at all. Are you cool for a roll insight for that? Or would that be? Sure. Got it. Okay. Nine. That would be, oh, my speed is reduced by 11 though. So that would actually be four more steps. Why is this? Oh, because of the thing. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. That is tough. 25. Oh, yeah. Um, you yeah. do see, I mean, there are general animals in most of the trees, mm -hmm. um, but you don't see like families of monkeys in most of them. Okay. All right. <laughs> so then, uh, the forest and it's hard to find. Yeah, I got you. You know. So then I'll go ahead and go to a tree that looks kind of solid and mostly unlived in, and then I'll I'll tap it and then ask Vondra, uh, see if anybody's home here. Uh, I'm going to try and communicate with the spirits um, and see if I can uh, perhaps uh, ask them to use the wood from the tree. Oof. You are saved. 28. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, you... In the tree that he was talking about, there wasn't anything... I mean, there were general animals there. Are you just calling out, hey, guys, is it okay? I mean, what, are you trying to single out a particular entity? Hey, Carbon is a she... Yeah, I, 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 I don't want, like something of this forest or whatever maybe some spirit that's guarding it or watching after it or something i don't want anything like that getting mad at us so um, yeah 
Yes, Anthony, you're correct. McGarvin is a she. I was mm -hmm, actually referring mm -hmm. to you saying that, but I should have been in character. You're right. Um, yeah. But uh, I take my accents very seriously. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, okay, you you will notice um, no one spirit sort of communicates with you. Um, you know, but okay. they they all sort of um, sort of gather a little bit closer, mm -hmm. as if sort of interested in like what you're doing. And okay. you hear um, uh, what would you need? Um, Nick Harvin is just going to be looking at the axe she made. <laughs> I will say, uh, <clears throat> Nick Harvin. Uh, what what do you think we'd need? Like how much? Oh, uh, we just need the log off the tree. Okay. Um, we probably I, make use of every part of it if we could. Like, you know, that might make the spirits happy. Uh, I w I will say, um, if <clears throat> if we could, uh, we would need the whole of the tree. I mean, we'd leave the stump and uh, the trunk, <clears throat> and we would like to utilize uh, every part of it. Um, you hear as a, a large crow sort of lands amidst the other birds and, and whatnot and scatters them. Okay. Do I see that too, or is it just him? Oh. Uh... Hi. Hi, shiny. Shine, shiny. What's shiny? Give me shiny. Give you shiny. Give me shiny for a tree. Oh, you want money? <laughs> shiny. Um. Can you uh? Can you tell me what that bird up there is saying, Roger? It wants something shiny. You got any money, Nico? Um. Oh, Christ, it wants money. Uh. All right. Do I have Perhaps, like a uh, gold berry or something? <laughs> I have uh, I have a golden piece I could uh, give him. Do you think that would do? Uh, possibly. You want to go ahead and put some blood on it? Um, I uh, I suppose. I guess. Uh, would you like to do it? Sure. I know you've been uh, selling your uh, family business there for a while. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I've been, I've been all, up to you. all right then i'll i'll go ahead i'll produce a gold coin from my satchel i'll like i'll like gently slip i don't have a proficiency for it so do i have to like roll something uh no um but it, it will hop down to a branch closer to you once you start pulling it out uh, so i'll produce the gold i'll like i'll yes. produce my blood and then i'll like i'll smear it with one side of the coin and then I'll leave the like I'll leave one side shiny, and then I'll like flip it up off my finger to the crow. And the uh, crow will swallow it up. Shiny, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Vontra is. Uh, if our business is done now, I'm gonna start to uh, fell. Yeah. I'm going to, yeah, go ahead and start. So then the... I'm going to, what would I roll to start chopping the tree with the axe? You would do a prowess? Prowess, got you. Um, roll oh. Roll. Uh, that would be, okay, I roll a prowess and I got 41. Before that, roll impulse. Before that, roll impulse? Oh. Uh, just whoever's swinging. Oh, him. Um, okay. That would be a 30. But instead, it's going to be a 19. Um, you hear, Kah -kah! Um, and there are, there are suddenly um, seven more crows on that land. And, it, and the first one will say, big shiny, big shiny. I think it might want me as, well, I, OK, I can't understand. So you know, seeing the crows, I'm just going to, you know, did that stop me from chopping, or am, am I? Can I can I try and use a spell? Sure. Okay. Uh, well, that's. I would, like to, um, I would like to cast. 
Ooh. Okay. I would like to cast. Uh, oh no, I can do a higher tier spell. Um, before that, remember you you have to cast um, mental fortitude. Well, roll mental fortitude. Uh, do you want me That's to do that as well? That. No, because you're not trying to cast. Uh, hey y'all. Okay. Mika says, "Give the crow the shiny end of the fishing line." <laughs> oh, that might work. Uh oh, we'll, we'll see. See how dumb the crow is. Uh. For mental fortitude, I got a 26. Okay. Um, just as before, um, the when you when you cast spells, you have to open yourself up to the um, shadow sea. Um, remember, you couldn't do it before because it was just like overwhelming. It still feels yeah. that way. Mm. Then in that case, I'm going to toss up a fire rock. And the crow is just going to look at it. <laughs> it's tiny. Okay. Well, that happens. I'm going to continue chopping the tree. Is that acceptable? I'm sure. going to toss two fire rocks, but I'm going to toss one, and then I'm going to aim the other fire rock at the first fire rock in the air to have that spark go off. You're, you're right. going to you're going to try to hit them both in air. Okay. All right. I see you. Um, while you're tossing and Anthony is cutting. Um, there are 11 crows now. Oh, um, uh, I got to bring that fire. And three of them are hurtling towards Anthony. Of course, they're coming towards me, Carbon. Let's Shiny! Did, did I hit? Yeah, I mean, but it, I mean, okay, it sparked a little cool uh, flame. <laughs> they weren't scared. Uh, they clearly were not. Uh, anyway, I'm going to continue chopping this tree, not seeing the birds behind me. Oh, I guess I'm going to say, look out, Nikarvwin. Okay, you say, look out, Nikarvwin. I'm going right, to roll, roll impulse. Okay, uh, I'm going to. Uh, okay, uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and roll impulse. Uh, that would be five. Would be 30, but instead it's 19. Okay, um, the you will see the second of the crows, but a little bit too late mm -hmm. as the first one whizzes by and it doesn't like really strike you, but it comes very close to you. Uh huh. And the first one says, Shiny, no tree, shiny. Shiny, no tree, shiny. <laughs> Do you all want? Or wait, I don't hear that. I don't understand that because it's in spirit. They say we have to kill. No, I'm kidding. Uh, they say <laughs> shiny, no tree, shiny. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if they can't be on proper speaking terms with them, I don't really know what to do. They're just asking for shiny, but we already gave them shiny. Um, big shiny, big shiny. They want so a big what shiny. Can you do? They want a big shiny. Uh, well, Andre, you've got anything shiny on you? My sword is pretty you shiny. Could, you I could. They want to be cut. Question mark. Nope. nope, nope. I'm going to attempt to. Wait, are is anyone close? I'm close like, to you. Is there a is there a crow that's close, within melee striking distance? No, Why they, they, they flew to... by them. But they're, okay. in the, they're in the branches now. I mean, you, I... Could, you could jump up and try to hit them if you want. Uh, I was trying to do something. Okay, I'm going to, I guess I'll jump, and what I was going to use was my ready weapon to, to quickly shink, shink oh. with the sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to, you're going to, okay, all right. Okay, all right, sure. <laughs> it's spooky, um, man. So roll impulse then against that one. Uh, impulse is uh, 20. You got it. Okay. And then I have to eat. Oh, I got it. Mm -hmm. Is it dead? Well, no, you have to roll a hit. That was just oh, okay. Yeah. Take the X first. <laughs> yes. Um, oh. Um, that Seeing is... that Vondra is jumping up and striking at the birds, can I continue? Felling the tree again. 
I have a question. Okay. If we if we have if we have magical items, right? And we got down to zero and then we woke back up with one. Is that one of our base stat without magical items? Or is that one including the magical items that are on us? I got 40 for prowess to strike the tree. Then. If you would have had if you would have had speed of like 13 with the magic item, you still went down to one. So yeah, you yeah. only have one. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure with the all right. I got a eighty. That's it. You got an eighty. What? That's it. Just eighty. Oh. Um, were you going for the, the one that was talking to you, or just one of the other ones? Uh, whichever one is seems easily uh, attainable. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I don't even. Oh no. Uh, odd. Okay. Um you will strike one of the other ones, not the one that was speaking. Oh, and the one that speaks says Kah! Um and now there are a lot of fifteen crows. How many more? Well, I'm dropping. I want to play more. Um and while you are contemplating your soon to be death, we will cut to <laughs> the covers of Wahuru. Nice. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, the camp is now abuzz with activity. Um, there are a host of humans and orcs sort of running around. Um, one of them uh, is very close to one of the smaller, um, your copies, Baylock, um, okay. and three of them are converging on the captives as if they're going to do them harm. Wait, hold on. Weren't, weren't there four of them on the copies and then there would be none near the hostages? Well, when you, when you caused the noise and they realized what was going on, now I'm saying they're, they're all running around now. Okay. Uh, so I, as like big, like, like the original Baylog, I'm going to cast Portal Breach in between the, the clones, and then my clones are going to drop them, they're going to drop the, the girls into the Portal Breach, and the, it's going to lead next to me. Okay. All right. Um, so that transpires, and now you have two children there. One is hysterical, the other is unconscious. Okay, I'm going to cast um, minor healing. You will have to roll impulse. Um, 30. Okay, and you will go first. Against what? Against um, everybody in the camp. Huh. Well, that you see. Well, okay, but nobody would see me. Unless they beat my stuff. Um, oh, that is correct. You, were, you had not gone to the camp. Yeah, so, I had done stealth. I was in like the woods. That's right, and you sent your clones in. Uh -huh. Okay, um, then in that case, everything just disappears. So now they're all like trying to figure out what's going on. That's good. Um, and uh, you will you will see that um, that the orcs that were approaching the captives are pretty ticked off, and they just start beating them, and they're uh -oh. they're screaming and can I oh. something. Can I roll my minor healing first, real quick? Hold on. Can I teleport? All right. Hold on. Can I do something? Uh, are we still you in ready? action? Uh, we're yes. You okay. haven't arrived just yet. Well, yeah, I was right behind Caleb. I'm already there because I was watching the people. I was about no, to jump in ready. when you cut it off. Yes, because I was about to do my this things I'm about to do now. Uh, I will right when you cut it off. as soon as he finishes his minor healing. Okay. So go ahead and do that. 
Solid. Solid. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's twenty-five. Okay. All right. Um. So, the one has woken up. Um, she's still pretty out of it. Um, okay. And the other girl next to her is is crying because she's a little bit younger. Um. Do I and, see Rastillion? Uh, you have to roll insight. I don't know. Are you stealthing in or are you coming? I was gonna teleport. I wasn't so so what I imagine, right, is I'm gonna teleport whatever my max thing is up, right? Okay. And then I'm gonna cast Southern Rabbit Hound, right? Like where the the guys are feeding the hostages, and then I'm gonna teleport back into the night. Can you do something yep. rabbit hound? Yep, I have all the requirements. You cast okay. what? Summon rabbit hound is okay i'll read it i'll read the spell so summon rabbit hound description caster creates an enraged chaga hound to fight at her side the hound uses the stats found in monster menagerie but all of its stats are magical and have plus two attack slash damage dang wow you you have yep corvey i have everything i need all right um so you're healing go ahead and, and Cast. All right. Um, suddenly, in the midst of those guys, um, a very large dog appears, um, and I imagine you're going to have it just start savaging. Yeah, but not the not the the hostages. Yes. Okay. The guys. All right. Um, roll d6 to see how many turns it takes. Three. No. Yeah. Three. Three turns. Okay. So for a round and a half. All right, um, I'm going to have you control the board yeah, here. Yeah, I'll take care of it. So it's oh, the top. Yep. Okay. All right. I got something else. Um, this thing in short order, I, it, will, it will bite the head off of one of them cleanly. <laughs> um, and it will bury a second one under its paw as it's trying to menace the third. <laughs> wow. Um, and then, because it's using your stats plus. Oh, no, no, never mind. One second. Sorry, I was reading it as you, your stats. It's not using your stats. No, it's using its stats. It's using its stats. Plus two. Yeah. So that does change a little bit. It could use my stats. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> but it can. Plus two to everything. You really just want that stealthy giant dog, huh? Yep, that would be amazing. <laughs> Sneak is up on you. Ah, runs away. All right. Um, so it does still bite the head off of one. Um, and it is savaging a second, not a third. Cool, cool. Um I got a thing I want to do. Um, in that time, there are uh, several others that will attack it. One will strike it with a spear. Ain't going to do no damage, though. Okay. All right. So um, my top is not there yet. Uh, so it's the bottom. It, it's not just yet. It's it's the top. So Baylock can do an action. Oh uh, yeah. All right, big bets. So I have a question. Mm hmm. Yeah. So could I cast Earth Wall in like a circle? Earth and Wall. Yeah. yeah I think so. If so, then the thing I want to do. Are you going to create a circle around the hound? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it can be a circular wall of earth with a five foot radius. So it's not a big one. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So it's I'm going to set half the girls in wood. Um, it's fine. You're safe now. Just wait here. And then I'm going to step back and cast earthen wall around them. 
Uh, okay. Uh, what's your um? How many style? What's your spell cost allotment? Seventeen. Okay. All right. I cast two spells, so. Yeah, but remember, they all they have their um, calls, so it's not. Yeah, but that's not seventeen. Okay. All right. So you have. Cast uh, and then that would be my turn. Um. You will hear. Um, both of you will hear a loud voice um, coming from across the camp, yelling, <laughs> and um, oh then four more will converge on the, uh, the hound, uh, but the rest will sort of fan out into the woods. Stitch, were you, um, were you proceeding as fast as you could? Yes. Okay. Um, you will hear screaming off in the distance. Okay. And so right. the sounds of battle. Okay. So then I, I want to slow down and go into stealth mode and then just kind of find like a, a tree so I can find a tree kind of post up and see what's going on. Okay. All right. Uh, roll stealth. Okay. Stitch rolling stealth. Hey, 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 baby. What it's is it? New, it's, it's a new day. What um, is it, though? Shut up. <laughs> what is it? No, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. 30, 33. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Right. He's coming okay. up. Okay. So, I mean, you you else. feel you feel good about your positioning. Um, you see um, just as the orcs and humans start to sort of disband into the woods. Um, you do uh, roll inside to see how much more you can see. Okay. Uh, here we go. Insight, I got 35. Okay, you will see um, that while there are four, uh, no, there's a total of seven on the hand. Um, there appears to be a large null female, um, a male ribbon, and a large male brawn um, standing across the way from you in the camp. Um, and it's the uh, large female that is giving the orders. Oh. <laughs> OK. Chief All right. Yeah. I did. Um, how far is the female? Is she like uh, like less than 200 feet? I'm going to roll insight to determine that. Okay. Uh, I got, I get 37. Um, she does appear to be less than that. Um, and as you're watching, she takes out something and starts to read it. Oh uh, yeah, you better shoot that paper. I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add that paper up. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to aim, shoot through the paper, hit her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right, ready? So, um, what I get? Uh, eighty-eight. Okay. You will. You will hit her. Um, roll damage. All right. Do I hit the paper Hold too? Does it tear the paper? Right. Does it tear the paper in half? Right. I mean, it tears the paper. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, and then, oh, dude, it's probably too late for me to say this. I I got um a a, a persona benefit now. I have a true strike. Um. And with two strike, I get uh, a plus three to hit and damage on my first physical attack. Okay. Wait, right. true strike gives you plus three? No, true strike gives you plus two. You must be talking about first in. Oh, sorry, first in. You're right. It is. Sorry, first in. Sorry. Oh, I... First in. So go yeah. on. Roll down. Okay. All right. So then 
for damage, I got dang nice 30 for damage. Go ahead, Stitch. Not bad. Angel friend. Not bad. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, so she definitely felt that. Okay. Um, well, Stitch might actually be useful now. Um, and then oh, look at y'all, the peanut gallery back I, there. Man. I, I, can yeah. I can do it again. Okay. Do it again. Yeah, Ooh, you got this, Uncle Mike. Right. Yeah. So shoot her again. And for uh, damage this time, I got a 93. I mean, for for um, RAB. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice, right. nice. And then for damage, uh, 20. Ooh. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. She, uh, she, she looks ticked off. Okay. And then uh, at that point, <laughs> I'm not going to press my luck. I'm going to go back into stealth mode. <laughs> Okay, um, and she will then complete the recitation that she was doing, um, and the scroll will burn in her hands. Um, and then her skin will be covered in um, what looks like rocks. Hey, let me get some of that, though. Whoa. Get some of that. Her skin's covering the rocks now. Bro, that's that. That's that. Hey. Um, and then the uh the ribbon will step forward and he will lay his hand on the brawn. Um, and you will see um rock flowing over the both of them. Oh man. Shoot. Okay. So what do you guys um they're they're not doing anything. They have people out searching for you guys. Um are you stealthing or are you just sort of in the open? Well I'm stealth. I'll stealth. I'll stealth. I'll stealth. Okay. Um and so. you will hear. Um, and uh, I guess, Balaam, did you move very far away from the, the children? Uh, no, I was like a foot in front of the dome. Uh, not dome, the uh, wall, I guess. Well, if you're not stealthing away from that, they found you because they found the, the dome. So they're, That I mean, makes sense. I did not think about that. I did. Yeah. I so guess we're bought. So. You got caught. Yeah, so um, so they're helping each other try to climb it because it wasn't there before. And there are there are oh. three of them doing that. What does first end give again? What? What does first end give again? I forgot. First end is only um, like during the initial phase of combat. So um, wait, but isn't it the first like attack you make? Well, yeah, it is during any combat engagement. So your first yeah, one. it's like the first yeah. attack that you make, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then I'd get this for the next like attack that I make, the first attack I make. Okay. But I need to find what it does first. All right. So while you're finding that, we go back to the spirit realm. Okay. Um, so as I was calling, I was using my breath weapon. Oh. <laughs> You were doing what? As so, I just jumped up, sliced a crow. As I was going down, landing, when the crows came, like Moors came, I shot a breath weapon. Well, I mean, you didn't say that. I did. You just said as you're contemplating your stuff over me. I was like saying that as you were doing it. Okay. Um. So where are you centering the breath weapon? Um, it's sort of, it was supposed to be sort of like crowd control. So wherever I see the most birds, because well, you, you were aiming at the tree. So you're, you're focused on the tree. What? You were, you were focused on the ones in the tree, right? Oh, from the role, I get, you just said another one. You just said the one that wasn't talking. 
Well, yeah, because you said the closest that you could get to, I mean, you were jumping into the tree, right? Because they were on the branches. Yeah. So I'm just saying you're not looking everywhere. You're you're faint, you're centering your blast on the tree. I was I was centering the blast where the crows were, the most crows. Well, well that's right this land is a tree. And so <laughs> you didn't see the 15 that appeared because you were focused on the ones that were in the tree. Wherever this lands, I think this Wait, is going to be a beautiful blast weapon. <laughs> because I hit them, and then as I'm falling, wouldn't I see them coming? Because here's here's what it was what it was playing out. I guess what I thought. I I jumped and sliced, and I was landing. As I was landing, you said things were coming, and then I was just going to breath weapon while landing. Well, fifteen more appeared, but as you're jumping. You didn't say you were like scanning 360. I mean, you no, I wasn't. That and you came down. So you, you wouldn't have seen the, the 15 that come, but you could do your breath up and on the uh, um, what? 11 that were already there in the tree? 12? I guess. Okay. So go ahead and roll damage. I'm oh, at man. 12 now. So that's. You're going to ruin the wood, Dar. You're going to ruin the wood. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I have to count how many die I use now. <laughs> Go for it. While you do that, I'm just going to keep, okay. I guess, blissfully just okay. whacking at this tree. You actually are not because you're about to get attacked, but I'm going to let him do his roll first. Oh, uh, of course I get attacked while he's literally breathing fire at them. Uh, <laughs> Very uh, 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 fell out. Three, forty. Okay, uh, I did forty. Okay. So they have to. I'm gonna just do one roll for the twelve. Okay. Oh, they did not make it. Woo! <laughs> I mean, they're not dead, but they did not get out of the way of that. Did they catch a fire? Um, I will roll to see how many yeah. of them. Eight of them caught fire. Oh, um, and you will hear. Oh, I, guess, man. Um, I guess we're having poultry for dinner, huh? It's so, fresh. Just gross. <laughs> I, I, I... <laughs> All right. Um, Anthony. Uh huh. Uh oh. What's up? Uh oh, it's not good. Oh, you're kidding me. No. no. Oh, no. That's all right. Oh. I've got some vitality on me. Let's just see where this goes. Tax. The next one was an eight, so it didn't go. Uh, but hold on, I got to roll a couple more times. Okay. What? What? There's multiple birds. Only one needs to attack at a time. <laughs> I wish. Okay, and then one. Oh, the one. Oh, I well. roll that again. Hit another one. Oh no, it's a it's an eleven. Ah, mm. uh, that's a uh, uh, Hey, that's a okay. triple one. You um, ask me. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay, speaking facts. All right, what's good? So one of them does, missed, right? Does 89 hit? Does 89 hit? Uh, if my agility was normal, it wouldn't. But 89, I have to see. That's minus eight. Yeah, it hits. Hey, hey, you got plus one. Plus one? Oh, yeah, from you being there? Still get hit. Oh, that's a shame. All right. Big um, shame, big shame. So then, uh, actually, wait, hold up. I have to add up my stuff real quick. It would be 50 plus 1 plus 20 plus 5 plus 10. 86, 87, no, nope, not 89. You get scratched um, four times. Four. Ow. <laughs> But one missed, right? Uh, what? One, one missed, right? You get hit 
four times. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get hit four times, but one of them did miss, right? Several of them miss. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can only do it once a round. Dang. Do what? Oh, okay. So I was going to do like ready weapon, you know? The, uh, the shadows speak to me of blood, so I shall deliver yours. And then I was going to use my shield to do like the blowback. Oh, if one okay. missed. Yeah. Um, you take 20 points of damage. I. So that would be 69. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, y'all don't know. One of one of the birds take one d four though, right? Say what? One of the birds take one d four because they missed, right? No. Why? Because I okay. So my shield. Remember, it's yeah, I have it written out. Anthony, you were you were hitting with your axe. You didn't have your shield or anything prepared. Yeah, but I have ready weapon. Could I not use I, it to? I understand, but they attacked you. You weren't paying attention, so you wouldn't have ready your weapon. Uh, you were just swinging your axe. Right. Comes yeah. in, so I got yeah. you. Okay. How close is the tree to being done, like being cut down? You hit it twice. Okay. It's a tree. All right. Okay. We're gonna um, we're gonna have to fight for this wood. <sighs> All right. And, well then um, I guess I'm gonna enable my stuff then. Okay. All right. Yep. Are you guys sort of casting around to see what's going on? Or I mean, you just want to just start swinging? No, I'm going to ask, ask these birds what the shiny is they want. Oh, Nat 12. Oh, no. Oh, I wanted to do my multi spell. Oh, no. <sighs> You got a natural 12. I feel like go I it. wasted my 12 on an insight roll. That's terrible. Oh. Dang. I'm good because I don't have any speed. <laughs> it's like, stuff, is, so, stuff is tough. So you're, just, huh? you're looking around? Uh, I, I was looking around. Uh, did, they, did, they, did I see them attack uh, Neat Carvlin? You do, but you see four more. So there are um, the 12 you saw on the tree and now 19. Okay, so I'm going to roll mental fortitude. Here's the thing. I I don't think I'm going to get it because I keep rolling 11s and I'm still not getting yet. So I can't get used to the shadow sea. Ah, uh, I just That's, wanted a tree. Um, so if you guys aren't doing anything, I mean, they're going to keep attacking. I'm going to, well, I was going to, like, if there were four more coming at me, I was going to swing at those with my Dwarven Cleaver. Is that valid? Or... I mean, okay, so if, if you want to attack now, go ahead and roll impulse to see if you beat them. Okay. All right. I got an 11, which would be 36, but actually minus 11. Okay. So instead, it's a 25. I'm, I'm rolling... To try and do multi spell today. Well, I guess it's not. Well, you can't cast any spell, so multi spell wouldn't help you. Yeah, you have like mega minus core. No, that's that's fine. Oh, yeah. My, mm. No, my core is fine. Well, eh. it took your core. I thought. It did. It took core agility and speed. Yeah, oh, my strength is fine. I was negating strength. Yo, oh, my alchemy rolls have been way better. I am so sorry. I've been getting like forty. <laughs> Congratulations! I was away all my strength, dude. Okay, you, you silliness. My bad. So they will go before you, Anthony. Yep. Yeah, it only makes sense, you know, minus eleven speed and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's get ready to box. You have bird brains. Uh oh, one of them get a one again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. This time I definitely get the. The we'll just say that's a one. Now it's a seven. Uh, now it's a one. So, that's so far, you've been hit twice. Oh, uh, 87 is my last bit. 
effectively right now. I've already been hit three times. Of course. Okay. Looks like four is your magic number again. What? <laughs> what? What do they want that shiny, dude? Right. <laughs> Guys, I mean. <laughs> I was going to have you. I literally asked you to ask. They got know. some gold. They tasted steel. Hey, what about the fish hook? That was shiny. The fish line, maybe. We could have tried the fish hook, but instead you breath weaponed them. Oh, you okay. have fishing line. I don't. Anthony. Did they not ask? Yeah, Dave. No. You will take. You they will just take, started. Oh, you my. will take 12 points of damage. 12? Okay. Oh, that's just going to um, Uriah. There yep. are several that are coming your way. Fun. Do they count as projectiles? They keep they keep rolling one. Nice. Nice. Let them roll a double one and just blow themselves out. No double out. one though. And uh, folly question. Again. Do they count as projectiles? Because they are throwing themselves at dude, technically. Uh no. With the way they're okay, the way they're attacking though, they're like swooping in to strike and then they're flying out. So like oh, oh. pain. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. The roll after that was Oh, nice. Good. All right, so four will hit you. What do you got, Caleb? So so how are they attacking? They are attacking and like calling. And then flying off. So, if you recall a few so, weeks ago. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> weeks ago, a few weeks ago. <laughs> Rastillion tried to do basically the same thing to Stitch, I believe. Mm-hmm. And Stitch was able to use... Um, missile defense. Missile defense against that. Therefore... Mm-hmm. Incorrect. The same thing should apply. Incorrect. <laughs> he he fell on him. He dropped down on him. It's it's not his normal attack. This is their normal attack, and so for them, this is me. What a, this is yeah, what they but use I was striking down. And <laughs> like I'm it's still his normal attack. No, I was just in the air. You were, yeah, you were falling. But I was also striking. It's <laughs> still his normal striking, attack. It still work. Guys, you were falling. No, because it's like. Doesn't it's, that mean they're moving slower? Huh? Why would they move slower? Because they have to adjust their speed to accurately attack me. Like yeah, if they yeah. were diving. No, I mean birds speed up when they're attacking. And when they're diving, that's that's why they're so deadly because they're well, yeah, but then fast. they'd be falling. But if they're diving, that's then they're they like dive is. it's uh, falling. But if they're, they're falling, then they uh, have to accurately. They 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 are in control of their body. They're not falling. They are flying at you, and they are hitting you with what they can use as melee weapons. And so it's a melee attack for them. And so you are getting hit with melee attacks. Are they rushing me? Because that, if they're speeding up, I mean, that's... Yeah, they're, they're definitely rushing me. So yeah. that's fortunate strikes all around. I mean, yeah. but you guys haven't said... That's fine. You can do All right, that. yeah. I'm about to go ahead and oh, get all the strikes. Wait. Oh, dang. I, wow. I really feel <laughs> I mean, silly, huh? Guys, you know, they've been rushing you guys all time. <laughs> Um, you should have thought of this, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad. I was too busy trying to chop four of them and... hit you. Um, now, I will let you do the fortune strikes first to see if you kill any of them before they get you. Okay. okay. Uh, one was in 84. Well, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say four of them hit you. Four of them hit over 90. Yeah, that, that hits. Okay. All right. Going, yeah, without it? without agility, I'm kind of it's it's a little rough over here. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. So 84 for one roll, uh, 82 for the other roll. Okay. Oh, okay. and then both was hit. Okay. Um, that will be, and my strength is here. Thank the Lord, Vanador. Um, Coming as through. Soon as, as soon as you hit them, they flip out. They flip. They what? They disappear. Boom. Oof. Oh. 
Uh-oh. Um, did, did I do damage? Just the, the impact of hitting them, they just blow up. So I didn't do any damage? I mean, you can roll damage, but they're, they're gone. You destroyed them. I mean, yeah, but I... I, I need the damage. <laughs> oh, that's right for that. It's important. Uh, yeah. yeah. Roll whatever damage because you would have conferred, but it didn't matter. But yes. Yeah, so okay. Roll whatever um, your damage would be. Uh, You're still getting hit the by damage. Two. So one strike was thirty-two. Another strike was thirty-four. Okay. So okay. that's the damage you put out. Okay. Um, and so only two of them actually hit you. Um, you will take 20 points of damage. Okay. Uh, the, the big one has flown up to the top of the tree and um, it's just like caw, caw, caw. Um, and then you guys um, the ones that were burning and the rest will come at you. The ones that are burning are falling at you. Uh, I don't like this, don't like this, this whole the bird thing. situation. Because they are burning. They can't really see what they're doing. They're just... Missile defense. <laughs> I would like to try to missile defense and perhaps... Oh! Oh! Yo, 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 yo. Check this. Yo, 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 yo. Look at my D6, guys. I'm about to show y'all. You're about to learn something today, Cam Fam. Here we go. Man's is like going into his dice app and like editing all the code behind it so it only rules like the maximum number. That, that's a guaranteed deflection. See? Uh, so you, you deflect one. Okay, and then... Uh, is it twice per day, or what is it per day? Uh, Are you using missile defense one or two? I'm. I was going to use them all. I, <laughs> I was uh, going to exhaust. No, no. Uh, I, I just only have missile defense one, and I don't know what they do. Uh, missile defense one is a once one per round. chance. The once once per round. Got it. Once per round. Yes. Once per round, one third chance, and then twice a day you can redirect with missile defense two. Oh no, you only have missile defense one. Uh, uh, you know what? I might actually save it. I might, I might just deflect. I'll let the other ones try to try to come at me. See what their burning does. <laughs> okay. I think it's a little too late to ask them what the big shiny is. Yeah, we're we're yeah, fighting for this tree now. Always yell out. Hey, what's the big shiny? He did it. Big shiny. You get big shiny. What is it? Um, and so it's gonna say ah, and all of them are just gonna stop midair. Um, and okay, it's gonna hop down closer to you. Say, ah, don't know. Call the ah, Padme. Padme? You got Padme? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what? Padme? Oh, platinum piece. Wonder he went to him. Andra, uh, I don't know if I have any, um, or no, I, I don't know what he said. Shoot. He wants, I, oh, I, t I told you, I'm letting you know, platinum. Oh, he wants a platinum piece. Uh, wow. You got Andra, that? Do you think you've got any of those? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I just didn't want to. I've, um, no. I've got five gold on me, uh. I can pay you back if you give him a platinum piece. What platinum? Am I am I really about to get freaking market priced by a, a <laughs> crow? Yeah, I'm about to market price this crow. Oh, you think about it like this: there's a chance we can bring the boat back to the uh, the realm of mythology. Wait, 
selling. The, in, in the world of Mythandria, is a platinum piece like noticeably different than a silver piece? Bro, man's is trying to scam birds. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can try, um, and that would be about your Roman persuasion to see if you can convince it that it is. This crow seems to know something new that gold wasn't a platinum piece. All right, give me my gold back, firstly, and <laughs> let me pull out this. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to roll persuasion and act as though I really don't want to part with this silver piece. Like, just really, uh, really play up come on. at this very price, like, priceless Super expensive. I don't want to get rid of it. This is my last platinum piece. All right, roll insight. I mean, roll uh, persuasion because I've already rolled insight. Okay. Uh, oh, good. I don't have any negatives, and I get a plus. <gasps> oh, okay. Look, 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 look. Come on, Ken fan. You gotta uh, know. My hands are up here. My hands are up here, so y'all know. Y'all know what the drill is. Oh? All right, let me pin this. You see that? Is that an 11? A three? A three. No. The qual, I can't tell what it says. Yeah. It's, it's all right, what, what is it? Yeah, you do you see three. it? No. Oh, no. Just, oh. just tell us. It's a 12. Oh, nice. nice. Okay, all right, so what's your total roll? The total is plus two. The total is 31. Um, and are you like tossing it to it? How are you, what are you trying to do? Uh, no, I'm not going to toss something as valuable as a platinum piece. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to. I'm going to hand it gingerly, and when it gets close, I'm going to say, protect this. It's very important. I mean, it's not going to wait for you to do all that. It's going to be trying to ram its hand in between, I mean, its beak in between your hands. <laughs> I don't know, that's fine. I'm, I'm going to give it to it, but I'm okay. just, like, when it's coming, I'm going to say that. That's what I mean. Like, It, it, it didn't care. Um, okay. You know, you, you had convinced it that it was a platinum. Um, and so it is flying away happy as can be. Um, the other uh, birds, um, they, they disappear. Um, but as they disappear, with each one that disappears, um, chunks come out of the tree. Oh. Wait, and chunks? When the, when the last one is gone, the tree starts to fall over, so you two better roll impulse. Impulse. Oh, okay. Yeah, the tree is literally going to fall. Uh, it's falling on top of us, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm out, dude. I don't know what's wrong with you. I left. I'm done. Uh, I got a roll so high. You guys have to beat my roll. Tell me it's what your, your roll so is. so high. Oh, my roll? I got a two. <laughs> hey, I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, try it. Just say the roll. There's another three, Uriah. That's a ten. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. So, Uriah, you get out of the way. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he covered me. Yeah. Oh. oh I can't take you anywhere. Carbon, you you were able to get out of the way enough that only a branch hit you as it was coming down. So you only take eight points of damage. Only eight <laughs> points. Okay. The carbon is going to like try to move out of the way then get dinked in the head by a branch Dude. and like, fall over and roll. And back to um, uh, <laughs> um the, uh. <laughs> the brawn um, and sorry, I got to switch notes here. Um, the brawn and the ribbon um, start to spread out. Uh, well, the, the ribbon spreads out. The um, 
the brawn will stay closer to the hindgar, uh, the no, and um, actually it's a massive no, and mm. they will start to walk across towards where they hear their orcs at the stone wall. Cool. So is it bottom? Okay. Uh, it, so it, it is bottom. I still have okay. my phone. Yes. And my clones would be like behind them. Because, like, if they're in did front your, of me, did, you, my clones did would your clones behind. drop the children or did your clones get in? Because I thought your clones got in. Are oh, you right? You're right. You're right. Uh, so, if that's the case, then they're near you. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so, I'm going to have my clones fight them. Like, fight the two, the, the four orcs. I mean, the, the orcs that were there. Yeah. Okay. How many were there? Um, I think there were four. Okay. We're trying to help each other climb. Then I want them to come back together because they cannot fight at half. Okay, that's smart. All right, so you have one clone. Yep. So so we're gonna um, get like back to back and like ready weapon and attack. Okay. So roll your attack. Oh, okay. Uh, not a 12, but um, maybe. Wait, hold on. I'm really bad at math. 85. Okay, you will definitely hit. Yeah. So, uh, both wait, hit. I never rolled impulse. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, wait, oh. I have to roll my phone too. Oh, I do too. Then. So your clone thought... takes you. Your clone takes you. Mike, you will on the next because right now you put yourself out of it. Okay. So when you engage, I'll have you do it. Thirty-four. You go first. So can I go? Uh, well, let him finish his. Yeah. His yeah, yeah. That's what okay. I'm... So the two closest to us would get hit with um. Dang, how much damage does it do? Retribution. So, uh, seven, nine, eleven. Ooh, twenty-two damage. That's just okay. my first attack. All right. So keep going. I mean, it's still. So then, after that, they're gonna come down. Liking this rolls. So that's a uh, um, eighty-five again. Okay. Uh, Easy hit. Uh, same damage. Twenty-two. All right, it goes down. Okay, then. So that would cause. Wait, are you using retribution? Yes. Okay. Uh. Then, uh, I'm going to. Are the other ones within range as well? Yeah, I mean they're all. They were trying to climb up on the wall to get inside. So I Big mean, bet. So I'm going to attack them too. Okay. Okay. Uh, eighty-six. You will hit. Okay. Uh, not as much damage. Five, nine, twenty damage. Okay. That that's hold on. Yeah, that's my turn. All right, you clone. Oh wait, didn't you say it counted as the same? What? You said it well, counted you have as to roll the same. For it. it uses your stats, but you have to roll for it. No, 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 that's what I said earlier, and then you said it counts as you, because I said. I have to roll for the clone, and you said it counts as you. I'm sorry, I don't recall that. No, you have to roll for the. Oh, it took your impulse, so it goes when you go. You don't have to roll impulse for it, but you have to roll to attack for it. Okay. Well. Okay. Like right, yeah. So. Is first strike. The wounded one, or are they going for fresh or what? Uh. 
fresh. Okay. It's a one. Okay, roll it again. It's a nine. All right, so it misses one. So and then, okay, nothing, nothing insane. Uh, eighty-four. Okay. Sick. I mean, they, they seem really slow. You're you're hitting them with ease. Yeah. Uh, so that's five. Nine twenty damage. Okay. Uh, eighty-four. Twenty-one damage goes down. Uh, and oh yeah, they have one more. There are two more there. One is wounded. One is not. Yeah, but like one more attack. I mean. Okay. Are you going for the wounded one or the one that's not? Uh, fresh. Okay. Ooh, uh, so it hit, and then 22 damage. Okay. So you have two wounded ones that are now able to... Oh, you're going. What are you doing? Um, I am going to cast Rage on myself. Well, hold on. Let me, let me make sure. I Fish, can are you getting rage. back into action, or are you staying hidden? No, no, no. I'm going to get into action. Okay. All right. So after he goes, I'll have you roll Impulse. Okay. See where you go. Okay. All right. So I have all the prerequisites for rage. So I'm going to cast rage. Yes, the essentials for rage. And I'm casting rage on myself. Okay. The description for rage is a fiery anger wells within the target, adding plus six to attack and damage. Targets can't cast spells while under the influence of this spell. I like Dang. the sound of fiery anger. I like the sound of that. Okay. And does Baywalk happen to be within 30 feet? Stitches. Probably. <laughs> um, Stitches. Probably if he I was... mean, you didn't specify where you were, so I'll let you do. Even. So, yes, he's within 30. No, I'm just going to make an executive decision and just give it to him. So you can't cast spells, but you have plus six. To, to what? To attack and damage. Oh, roll, big bad. Roll a, D, roll a D10. D10. Six. So for the next six attacks. Dang. You guys have plus six to attack and damage. I can't miss nice. them unless I roll a one. Pretty nice. Dang. All right, so what do you... So oh, I'm, you I'm out of MAPR. So <laughs> okay, all right. That's, that's all. Um, go ahead and roll, Fish. Hey, good looks, though. All right. I, I'm going to re-stealth. Do I have to re-stealth? Because it was just a spell against us. I mean, nobody us. saw you. Okay. Okay, I got for impulse of 32. Okay. All right, so um, on when we start the next, you go right after resilience. Okay. All right, um, but for now, um, the the ribbon. I mean, the ribbon will um, step forward. Does my um, extend thing get a plus six? His hand. Does, does the thing... hound get plus six, or just no? No. Dang it. Um, extend its hand, and well, it will hold. It will just do that, and then it'll think better of it, and won't. Um, the Ron, um, will come charging. Wait, what's charging? Bron, oh. um, and it's, it's coming, charging straight for the rock wall. Mm. Um, and it's going to swing at Baylock. Come at me, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, <laughs> Baylock's at, oh, dang. Oh. Oh. Um it swung horribly. Oh. Um, so uh 80. he actually breaks his sword. Get out, get out. Okay. So it will swing again. I 
Against Caleb? Yep. Oh, oh shoot. Was it another one? Yeah, it's another one. Oh. Golly. What? No. Yeah. For what reason? Why are you like this today? Uh, oh. So, let's For see. what reason? <laughs> <That's tough. laughs> Come on, you can't go. Oh. Man. That's oh, tough. Don't worry about it, Caleb. Um, I'll back you up, dog. Well, I mean, I'll back you up, dog. You didn't even, like, try fortunate strikes or anything. Um, Chill. Come on. Come at me. But, uh, so, okay, now it has to roll. Um, Uriah, roll a 10 and a 20, please. 10 and 20? Yeah. I got you. And you want the total, right? Yep. Wait, did it double 12? Oh, there's, there's yeah, it's Vander of Delight. If you say come out, that it is. is a yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Twenty-four. Wait, hold on. Is this me or my clone? Oh, roll a percentage. <laughs> roll a percentage. Roll a percentage. Hold on. Fifty-fifty shot. Roll a percentage. To not die. Image. Okay. Um, so it um it gets close after swinging and missing, um, and it gets like enraged, and so it just it breathes in and and as it does that, um, like black flame comes shooting out of its mouth. Fifty fifty. Um, and. It doesn't matter because um, you're within you're within thirty feet. Can I reverse that whole action? Um, oh, and oh, oh, oh. So both of I'm you guys away. will take. I'm talking about. Um, what are we rolling? Impulse. Thirty-eight points of damage. Um, points of damage as the flame. Impulse to try to deflect some of it. Would rolling impulse like tell my position? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It, it didn't see you. It okay. just you were just close in but that. I'm. Will something see me? Like I still have no, that no, stuff. You're not, you're, no. Okay. No, no. I just had to make sure that's caught. Wait, hold on. It's nighttime, right? Um, I believe it was getting dark. Yeah. So it's nighttime. Big bats. So my other things were wrong. They were lower. That is daytime. But um, so I rolled for myself thirty, a uh, thirty-five. Thirty-nine. And now twelve. And I rolled for it a um a thirty four with an eleven. Okay, and what'd you get? Thirty nine. Okay, so you guys um instead of the what thirty six, thirty eight, thirty eight, you guys will take uh, nineteen. Okay, that's way better. Oh 19. dang! But when I say come at me, I'm your best. Not with that. Like come oh, on. Oh, I mean, oh, oh, now that he knows oh, he's taking half. Yeah. Better. Come on. The bravado. Oh. I did not say that, um, so I should not get repercussions. So, <laughs> so no more it. double twelves. No more. Come on, come All on. it can do at this point is just it stares. Um, yeah, oh, cry so about by it. the cry. way, the orcs did not it. make their impulse, so they are toast. So they're dead. Yeah, they are dead. Oh, so it's just so an sure. area thing. Yeah, it just. Oh, um, okay, okay. Luckily, the girls were within that. The dome, but yeah. it does it does start to crack. But my oh. chaga hound Bro. is still there. Your chaga hound is supposed to be yeah, great. I knew that would happen. Oh, yeah. and by it, the way, it, your it, chaga hound has. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Roll another one. Roll another yeah. one. Yeah. Roll another one. No. Ah, uh, we'll just say that's a twelve. We'll just say it's a twelve. But your chaga hound does finish off another of the orcs. There were. Several of them on it. Bro, his chaga hound's on a smoke. And then it goes, 
It's in the middle of another one. Um, they are they are hitting it, so it is taking damage. Okay. Um, is it looking bad? Yeah, it's not looking great. Frick, man. All right. Um. So round is it my turn? two. Top. Cool, cool, oh, cool, cool. Um. So I'm gonna take out my bell. I'm ready to open my bell. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna just kind of like. He's not gonna see me, but I'm gonna look him. Look the guy who did the fire thing. Yeah. Like, and I'm gonna whisper, "You babbling buffoon!" Oh, oh! Because oh. I'm, I'm not trying to get spotted or anything. Also, I don't know if you can say things like that. People oh. might. Oh, Cam Fam, we're sorry. This is family friendly. Come on, what are you doing? Yeah, you got me. I barely heard myself, yeah. man. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't think it really matters. Um, ninety-four. Dang. Um. Does it matter? I can roll higher. Oh yeah, you hit him. Okay, cool. You are pretty solid too. Oh, um, thirty points of damage on the dot. Yeah. Oh, God, that plus six is really coming in clutch. Okay. All right. Um. Now you're doing Vondra damage. A hundred. To hit. Yeah. That'll hit. Dang. Oh, that's right. You did rage. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You, yeah. Um. 32. Okay. He um, he staggers. Uh-oh. Wobbly. Come on now. All right. <laughs> now I'm going to draw back, right? Right? But you're... you're uh, st- Offensive, bro. No, 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 no. I have plenty of APR. All right. Death obeys the Reaper's commands. I'm going to say, say that out loud. I'm going to say it out loud <laughs> and let, let go. go. Ooh, look at <laughs> Another hundred. Forty-six points of damage. Okay, so as you um. Completely obliterate him. Yeah, um, he he's falling back, and he goes Aah! and black flame just shoots Dang. up into the air, um, and the trees above catch fire. No, not the trees. Defender, bro. If he has, if he starts a forest fire, it's over. Like, all right, all right. You gotta protect the trees, no, dude. I still have more APR. So I'm gonna ready with my sword, my bow. Mm-hmm. Take my sword out. <laughs> teleport inside of the dome. Is that something I can do? Like to um, the hound. To the you can't see the hound. Oh, can oh, I to do the that? Hound, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hound's not in the dome. I thought the hound was in the dome. No, the hound is up against the tower where the prisoners were. Oh, then I'll go to the prisoners. That's where oh, I yeah. Well, that's where the hound is. So okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then I'm gonna attack whoever is there. Okay, I mean, currently there are two left orcs that are, that okay. are fighting. So I have four free attacks and then two regular attacks left. Wait, did I do the math right? I have one more regular attack left. Okay. So I'm going to use a free attack to try and kill one of them. Um, what is that, a nine? 101. That hit, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure. You never know. Ooh. Honestly, you don't. Uh, with these guys, oh, 50. I almost hit max damage for me. Okay, so how do you want to do it? Because you just you appear and I'm, I'm gonna so appear, I'm gonna appear and then his head is just gone. Okay, all right. So, yeah. uh, so the others are mid swing and the head just flies. And like, and yep. Look at you. And now and I'm gonna go. At, wait, okay. you said there were two left. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do another free attack. Yeah. Oh, that's not as impressive. Um, 82. All right. Now, remember, you only had six attacks with that. I know, no, 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 I know. So you've used. I, I've used. This is going to be my sixth one. Okay. Um, uh, 30. 33. Points of damage. 33. Odd or even? This might be the one that was already picked by you. Odd. Not the one that was bit by you. So well, it's still standing, but it's like sagging. And you know what it's going to do? Yeah. It's going to turn and run. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to strike. 
Okay. I mean, you got to run from the face of death. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, you yeah. never know when it's coming for you. It's unfortunate for it, honestly. Um, 83. That will hit as it starts to run. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 34. It was only a three. Oh. So, so it's, it's gone. So I want to take its knees out, like cut its knees off. Like, oh. like me below. So it's it, it was going, it, and now it, it doesn't. It stumbles. <laughs> Little on the stumps. Oh, that's just wrong. All right. Um, and then I'm going to wipe my blade on my shirt. And Stitch, what are you doing? Uh. Stitch is being distracted. All right, no, I'm, he's, I'm back. He's looking at where the arrows flew. That's <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at where they came from. All right. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do um, is pull out my my, my shadow band. So my copy yeah. comes out with me. Okay. All right. Um, so let me do a roll one d four to see how many rounds I have. Uh, I got a one one round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to. Okay, the lady. Female that I hit before. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Well. Uh, wait, wait. Okay. Who was the person who still got the hand about to do something, but they didn't do it? Are they close Ribbon? to me too? That was the Ribbon Mage. Well, is that the Ribbon? Ah, uh, the Mage, Ribbon Mage. <laughs> Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yes, I'm, guys, I'm you told me. <laughs> I got some insight from Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going for that one. Um, does a what is that? 80, 95 hit. I will hit. All right. Damage is a 26. Okay. Deborah, I beseech thee. Bless this attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do it again. Uh, let's hear it. Does 89 hit? That will hit. All right. All right. Uh, damage is going to be 20. Okay. All right, Dan. I'll do it one more turn. Uh, yes. 95. That'll hit. And damage is a 20, 23. Okay. Um, she does not look great. All right, my shadow is up next. Okay. <laughs> 95 to hit. That'll hit. Damage is uh 27. Um, she starts to sort of like stumble a little bit. All right. So now the copy, I, I, I have enough APR to do three round, three turns. I stitch. Does my copy get three, two? Right, How does that work? Again. Okay. My APR is 19. All right. And so for stitch, I could do three attacks. So does my copy get to do the same thing? How does that work? Yeah. Same. Okay. So let me do it again. Uh, I'm on a roll, 95 to hit. Hey. Uh, oh, ho, 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 20. Ah, uh, I can't do math. Wait, 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 what's 30, 33. Okay, um, how do you want to do it? <laughs> Ooh. Hey, yeah. right, man. I wanted to go right through the hand, up <laughs> to the vine, vein, and out the neck. Oh, okay, okay. all right. So your arrow comes in and she gets hit doof, doof, doof. And as she turns, the last one just straight up and she's just stuck like that. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Are you sure you're friends with angels? I don't I don't know about that one. <laughs> you sure your friends are um, angels there, bro? <laughs> the massive massive no will yell out something. Um and she will run over to the ribbon, pick up the ribbon, and run away. Okay. Is anybody pursuing her, or what are you guys doing? I'm in the spirit realm. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll pursue her. I'm going to go yeah. after her. Me and my clone. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say the same thing, but okay. Um, I'm assuming his clone is dead, right? From the fire blast, because it wasn't it taking damage. His clone had evaded and took the same damage he took. Okay. Even still, it'd be fine. All right, so roll. Um, I thought it was taking a bunch of damage. Guys, roll prowess because she's she's running all out. All right, prowess. Ooh. <laughs> She's full sprint. <laughs> she oh, runner. So. Oh, you do have runner. Oh. Okay, bro. Can I teleport? I got 22. Go prowess? Um, bet, bet. Where do you want to teleport, though? Because Wait, she, I don't understand what's going on. Okay. I'm going to need a recap. She was. The tower was in the middle of a clearing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys were sort of fighting on the. Let's say the south side. Mm -hmm. She ran is more to the north side and going into the woods. So you don't have a clear line of sight on her. Um, but we're trying to kill her, right? Yeah, I mean, if that's. If Can that's I get a force strike running. with a bow? Huh? Can I get a force strike with a bow? <laughs> no! no, because that force strike is only if they're in melee. Taking themselves in or out of action that way. So can I just teleport 300 feet in that direction and hope I'm there? Hope that you get there, right? Yeah, I mean, you could just go in that direction, yeah. I mean, it's dark. There, you know, you're not really familiar with it. I'll let you do it. You got it, bro. I, I, I can't do that, right? I can't teleport inside of something. Like, I can't teleport half of my body through a tree. No. No. I mean, if you really but wanted to, really be you worse can figure than that? manage that. I mean, yeah, you're, oh, you're saying accidentally. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you can, I can do that accidentally. Half, half of yourself. If you go to place blind without seeing anything, like you, your teleportation uses line of sight. You know what I'm saying? Um, unless you've been there. But How? You're not teleporting long distances. A counter. I was up in the sky. So I would have had an aerial view on the area. Because I rolled insight to see where you I could do the thing. The area. But that's enough because of my. <laughs> no, that is. That is. I understand. Astral infusion doesn't do that. It doesn't show you where the position of every tree is. No, but that's not what I'm saying. It would show me a position where the majority of the trees are. So I can make a calculated decision. No. no. What, why? What if I want to know where that tree is? That's my designation. <laughs> that's my <laughs> target. <laughs> places you know, where you you can't, can't, uh, that is not <laughs> what that says. No. Okay, actually, it's places where you've been. <laughs> it is, it is a, it's a, um, it's an overview. Okay, it's not a zoomed in view. And I just right, want so an overview on where the trees you know, are. And that's what I'm saying. You, have to drop, you, know, you know, there are trees right there. Your astral infusion will tell you there are trees over there. That's it. So, I mean, take your gamble. Like, wait, wait guys, how fast did I teleport? Yeah. Why do you have to teleport? How, how much range? How much range do you have with Defender stuff? Well, not only that, they, there's, there's other things they can do. I'm you running fly, after. You can, I mean, there's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm but still, like, if. What are you doing? I guess that does. I'm running after this person. I rolled a 28 for the prowess. Yeah, that I got, with, with, yeah, I got with a 22. Runner, with runner, you would overtake her rather quickly. Okay, I want oh, me. Can I just follow Caleb or Baylock with flying? I'll just do that. Yeah. Do okay, that. What, what are you saying, Baylock? Each of, like, me and my clone are each going to tackle, like, one leg. Like, a different leg. Oh, okay. So you're going to just touch attack. Yeah. All right. Nat 12. Oh. oh. Good, because I don't think you would have done it either way. Um, oh, but, then a four for the uh, the next roll. Okay, so you so you grab her leg, Ugh. and now you are going along with her. Oh, that's so fine. Her down. <laughs> that's fine, because I can ready with my super. Gosh, Caleb, I mean Baylor. No, 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 no. I got this. We're gonna ready weapon our swords, which is an attack. So um. <laughs> Well, you would already had, well, maybe uh, I guess you could have put it away. Okay. What? Go on. 85 for me. Well, hey, that with your plus six? Yes. Okay. I'm um, an 88 for my clone. 
and both missed. Okay. Oh, Maybe I should have kept my rage. That's fine, because this one's a uh, 94. And that will also miss. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Because this one's a nat one. <laughs> Wait, what <do> <laughs> Don't worry. I rolled a six afterwards. Okay. okay. But this one, 85. All right. Uh, she is going to stop momentarily, and... Um, she's going to kick to get you off. So she has hey, a prowess. Let's see if you can hang on. That's fine. 28. You go flying. <laughs> um, Rip. And Maybe she so. just starts running again. Rip okay. the home. Oh, wait, no, no. I have a thing for this. So I'm, I'm going to her. What? Am I close? I'll chase behind her. Am I close or no? Um, you were flying or running? Oh, oh sorry, flying. I was in the air, flying. Okay, then yeah, because you're you're you fly faster. Okay. So run. can I? So can I kick, shoot her while she's kicking? Baylock. Yeah. All right, I'm doing it. Okay. I'm going to cast hold dripping on. vines hold in front. On, hold on, hold on Baylock. Um, I'm going to get uh, 90, 93. Okay, your arrow will miss um, her. Roll uh, percentage. Thirty two. Okay, um, Baylock, does that, um, does 93 hit you? Uh, yeah, missile defense. I uh, can't. Can't. Why? Well, because you were holding her, you wouldn't have known he was shooting at you. Hey. You do that. Um, so roll damage on Baylock. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There, every time I've ever used missile defense, I didn't know that I was getting shot at. Okay, you were in a situation where you anticipated getting shot at. Hey. In this situation, you are not anticipating getting shot at. Yes, she's I am. I'm anticipating getting hit by anything. She has like a whole freaking my chaga house for militia. <laughs> with her. He's my chaga. I just want to go back and get Oh, what a situation. Uh, 27. All right, so Bailock takes the 27. As he is, right before he gets flung away. Um, so, Hold on, me and my clone. You, your clone's not hanging on to her. Your clone didn't yep. touch her. What? Yeah, I did. No, no, your clone did not touch her. You only touched her because you wrote a 12. You never had me roll for my clone. Yes, you wrote a 4 for your clone, and you had a 12. No, I never rolled for my clone. Okay. No, I just said that I got a 12, and you're like, oh, yeah, you guys got her. No, and then you said 4. No, I never once said four. It, it's okay. Caleb, yes, Sorry. you did. No, no, no. no I didn't Caleb say four. Said four. Like, Ellen, I, know, I know he said four. Ellen <laughs> spoke. So, no, Ellen spoke. Anyway, no. Anyway, <laughs> I know they're, they're both not on her. So she continues to run. Um, and um, that is where we'll conclude for this evening. <laughs> oh, and, and I... Reaper said that he was going to go back and help the... Yeah, I'm going to roll insight on them and make sure that none of them are dead. Okay. All right. Roll insight real quick and I'll let you know. And they've all died. <laughs> um, insight 40. Okay. So one, two, three. Three of them are alive. Um, one of them who looks like he was a previous guard. Um, seemed like he was trying to shield the father and, and mother. I mean, he's been hacked to pieces. Uh, but does like he look mother, soon enough mother, to do Death's Door? I mean, he's been hacked to pieces. Oh, yeah. So, and... but three of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So, uh, right. questions for tonight. Um, well, my one question was. Uh, what was the ribbon? The I know. It's a mage. <laughs> a mage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's one EP? 
why why did we know uh grab the mage and run what why did the no the female why did she grab the mage after the mage was killed and run because the mage might have something powerful on him that she doesn't want getting out okay anybody else Mage might be some kind of like leader to them, and so like in order to keep it from like you know not being able to lead the group, it has to keep it out of harm's way. Well, no. Um, I mean, the, the, well, I I'll be quiet. Can't say anything. Where where are you guys? Are you guys even close to Charlie X Inn? Yeah. No, they're they're we're close to Star Zone. Of, I mean, yeah, a couple of days away from um, Star Zone. Oh, you guys made it a couple days away from Star Sun. Okay. Well, that shoots my theory out the window. I was going to not say that because it's wrong. <laughs> you should still say it, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead. I, I want to say that uh, perhaps she took the maze to see can she get her, um, take her somewhere to get healed or uh, be brought back to life. Okay. I was I was gonna say that since we were dealing with a lot of like undead or like people that could do a lot of stuff like that, that she was scared maybe an enemy could turn the Riven Mage against them. Okay. But because we're not in Chai X in, I kind of blew that theory. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Caleb, what you got? Uh, I don't know. They probably just have like a good eye. Okay. Um, Caleb, what you got? Okay. I'll give Davey two points. Sure. Um, and we will go into the next question. Um, what was going on with the crows? I think that the one crow was like. You know how there's the spell likewise where you can summon copies of yourself to do stuff? I think that was what the crow was doing, but like it was using a higher level of that to summon more crows. And that the only real crow was the one that was like directly speaking to us. Either that or it's kind of spirit. Do I? It's September, right? Uriah, right, you could. What do you mean by reason. higher level of that? Um, what what do you mean by higher level? It could be using likewise three or likewise two, like um upgraded version of that, or it could be just like an ability that it has as a spirit animal. But like I'm thinking that it acts similarly to likewise. Like it creates copies of itself that can do what it wants. That's why it like disappeared when we struck the fakes. But the real one was like staying back. I also think that it was probably like conjoined with the tree somehow because when the rest of the uh when the rest of the crows left the tree that was when it fell okay anybody else uh, i guess i do, I do. Um, go ahead um i think the personally i know nothing because our party members did not ask questions which the lm has been saying multiple times in the last couple of sessions that is it it is important for us to use our brains you know didn't necessarily we say literally, what we literally asked said. what it wanted but 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 he said it's important for us to ask questions and to start to flesh out this world and not to be so blunt headed with our approach <laughs> well we I asked questions Raya we asked the question oh, what, what the last heck is that Asking questions, okay. Yeah, we, we literally <laughs> asked when the shiny was. That I did it like a quiz, dude. I don't know what you want from me today. I decided to do something different, and all of a sudden, it's all there. yeah, we literally asked it. It, it said it okay. wanted a piece of platinum, and we gave it a silver instead. <laughs> so, you're uh, you're right. What did you think it was? Was what do you think was going on? Um. At first, I thought it was a blood soak, but upon further consideration, I think it is. Uh, 
I, I agree with Anthony that it's connected to uh, the forest, but maybe not necessarily the whole forest, maybe just that specific tree or section of the forest or something like that. Um, and there's sort of payment. Uh, it's, it sort of goes back to that like exchange thing. Um, and some spirits don't like always use blood. Uh, so this this exchange, it probably wanted some sort of monetary value. And I don't know why. Maybe it for someone. Like it was taking it to somebody or something like that. Maybe it's a familiar of someone who owns this section of the forest or something. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. I, I was actually baffled by that because all in the past, the exchange has been blood. You know, so I was really shocked that it actually wanted coin you know because when it kept saying silver i was thinking i'm not sure what it's talking about you know and so then when it actually asked for money that that really kind of shocked me um and so i am learning that i don't know as much as in, about the spirit world as i think i do um so i mean that's it. fair the spirit realm isn't so one-dimensional like not everything is just out for blood you know so it was just like some other stuff i think that uh it has some sort of like uh like a connection to uh like trees or something like specific trees and uh it's also like a uh, it's being controlled by something else to get money from a, anything that it can and so in this instance it bartered if it bartered uh a platinum for uh, a tree. Ah. Huh. Okay. All right. Um, I will give you each two for that. Yeah. Um, I actually get three. So I'm really supporting. You guys were relatively close. Um, good job. And so I see six of us here. I'm going to roll a d6 to see who's going to roll. But so hold on a second. Okay, um, Caleb, you are rolling against me. Roll a d6. I'm going to roll a d6. I'm going to roll just because I feel like rolling. Don't show what you got. And so, Caleb, shall we? Uh, let's see. Um, not Caleb. Um, Mike, whose roll should we go with? Um, David, you have historically been rolling very low, um, and I would really lean towards Caleb, but then you surprised me with getting this singularity. So I think tonight you might have the hot hand, but I still gotta go with Youngin. Go, with Caleb. Okay. Um, Caleb, what'd you get? Uh, I just want to say that in the in the middle part there, he had me so furious. But now, but now that he's chosen me, I am so grateful as I rolled a six. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. And I rolled a three. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. He really called out Dave there. He was like, you've been rolling low, bro. You got nothing for us. I have. I, I always roll low. <laughs> All right. Thank you, fam. Uh, thanks for watching this installment of Evermore with Everlore. Uh, we appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it with us. We hope you enjoy. Uh, you can... Learn more about our tabletop role playing game Everlore um, through our social media, which is at Everlore Game. Um, you can also find us on um, our website at manshoutltd.com. Um, we do have two official streams uh, one that you're watching now, or either one that you'll be hopefully checking out, is on Thursday nights. That's from um, 6. 650 to 9, and that is Everlore, Evermore with Everlore. Uh, that can be found at twitch.tv forward slash Everlore game. The other one, the most recent uh, edition, is uh, Essence of Everlore, and that one can be aired, it airs on Mondays from 645 to 9. That can also be found at twitch.tv, but it's forward slash Essence of Everlore. Guys, we appreciate you watching um and guys remember no matter who you are yes this game, game is for you, you. see you, 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 you see you
See, Dave, you let on strong with that one and it was a good end.